And first, we're going to talk, learn a little bit more about one of the exhibits and talk with one of the exhibitors. We have Destination Imagination, and we're just going to watch as these guys are going to be doing something pretty exciting that you don't get to see very often. And the question will be, are you smarter than an elementary schooler? We have Lee and Matthew who are going to try their best. But first, let's talk to um, Wendy Nyman to learn a little bit more Wendy Neiman to learn a little bit more about Destination Imagination and how all this works. Destination Imagination is a project-based learning challenge program. Um, we develop seven challenges annually for students kindergarten through university and we challenge students to learn more, think outside the box, take their STEM, science, technology, engineering and math skills, incorporate them with arts and 21st century learning skills, project management, risk analysis, incorporate them in a fun, engaging manner, and develop challenges to solutions in science, engineering, fine arts, improv, service learning. We, um, we impact right now about 200,000 students a year, uh, annually. Uh, we are in 48 countries, and, or excuse me, 48 states in the U.S. and 30 countries worldwide. And Wendy, uh, this stands out because it's pretty exciting. We're here at the Space Symposium and we see all the adults talking adult stuff. And now, in the middle of all this, we see something exciting that children are going to have a lot of fun with and they're going to be doing this this evening. Yes, that's correct. Um, the, the skills that the students learn here are skills that will be empowering them to be successful in the 21st century workforce. So as we're here at Space Symposium, surrounded by engineers and all of the aerospace uh, companies here, their future lies in the success of the skills that we can foster in our students. So that's what our program does. Our program in, in, encourages students in, uh, 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 to foster their curiosity in the world around them and how they can develop through utilizing those skills um, unique and novel innovative solutions. Oh, okay, so let's, let's talk about those unique, novel, and exciting solutions. Now, I, I, I want you to explain this, and AJ, go ahead and show Lee and Matthew, who are adults, and we're gonna see if they are smarter, and now hold on <laughs> one second, Lee and Matthew, if they're smarter than an elementary schooler. So, Wendy, explain to us what exactly is going on here. Okay, we have challenged um, our, our uh, participants here to develop a device using five items ranging from straws, pencils, aluminum foil, recycled uh, PVC pipe, a, a device that will deliver a Milky Way to Mars. So we have Mars on the floor over here in the form of our red buckets and red circle. They have to build a device that will deliver their Milky Way candy from their device to Mars. So that's, that, that will incorporate some engineering skills, some creativity, again, thinking outside the box. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Patience in general. <laughs> Absolutely, and timing and technique. So, Lee and Matthew, before you go, because I want to, I want to talk with you about this for a second. Let me just run over this way for just a moment. So, so guys, all right, okay. So, tell me what you're feeling at this moment, because I mean, this question is burning in a lot of people. Well, it really is, Eric. And you know, so we we took two different approaches here. <laughs> One being the mortar tube approach, which completely failed and didn't work at all. Didn't work. And then we've, we've actually gone back to a very medieval device, if you can come in close on this. Yeah. Um, so we've done some tensile testing on this, and it looks, it looks like it's going to hold up. So now it's really just a matter of accuracy. So we'll see. We'll see. I th we're excited, Eric. Now right. it's execution. It's execution time. It's execution time, yeah. That's right. Now we've given you a, a little bit of leeway to be right. able to put this together and practice a little bit. Right. But th this is right. not for the faint of heart. No. No, no. This is, I mean, there's a lot of pressure. This is the big leagues here. <laughs> yeah. This yeah. This is. Yeah. yeah. The East championship, NCAA tournament, and this, they're all. Yeah. They're all this is like the Super Bowl of candy launching. Yeah. This is... yeah. This is exciting stuff. It's exciting. Yeah, it is. Stuff. It is. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to step out of the way. Hold on before you get into this, because remember, we're going to see if you are smarter and more adept than an elementary schooler. Hold on for just a second so AJ can get ready, and we'll tell you when we're ready. All right. Okay. We're ready. Go for it, gentlemen. All right. So far, that first test to Mars, if that is Mars, didn't fare too well. Hold on a second, AJ. We've got, we have trial number two. Too much. We'll give you a third shot. Okay. Uh, this Averages. is. Averages. Here we go. Hold on one second. Let's get squared away. <laughs> that one was mission <laughs> failed, but hold on a second. Hold on. That didn't count. Oh, but that was very, very close. And in this instance, for just this moment, gentlemen, yes. you are not smarter 
than an elementary schooler, but right. you are very good sports, and we appreciate what thank you've you. done. Well, we appreciate it, too. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you, thank, you ver- yeah. thank you both very much. And those were exhibitors who were nice enough to be able to talk with us and be able to try this. And, Wendy, come on back. Now, talk a little bit about, once again, this evening, you're going to have some elementary schoolers and others and educators yeah. so they can really get excited about science. Yes, exactly. Um, the the educators, it, uh, it starts with the educators, obviously, to get them excited about uh programs that they can bring to their students that will excite their their students to expand their horizons, use their curiosity, use their imagination, and use those skills, and realize that science and engineering and technology is not scary, and that it's something that's open to everyone. Whether you're male, female, young, or old, it's something that we all can do um, with these easy challenge programs that we offer. All right, well, thank you very much, thank Wendy. You. And you just saw live in action. These guys are still trying. This is what's pretty cool. They, they never give up. And that's what scientists do, be it adult or young scientists. They never give up. Well, maybe they might want to think about redressing how they want to put together this experiment. But that's a story for another day. We'll give them one more shot. Here we go. Oh, so very close, gentlemen. So very close. And my next mission is going to be I'm going to try to find Bill Nye, the science guy. I've already talked with his people, and they're going to talk with my people, and we're going to try to get together and be able to have some comments from him. So keep it right here on Gazette.com. Reporting live from the Space Symposium, I'm Eric Singer, Gazette.com.